Eastern Conference champions in 96, 11, and 1. They won that championship for a full straight season. They're ranked number three in the National Bowl. Steve Spurrier, their coach in his seventh season. And now here comes the Seminoles, the number one team in the country. The Noles have won five straight ACC titles. Bobby Bowden in his 21st year. We'll have the lineups and the kickoff in a moment from the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Matt Teague, 97 kickoffs. 40 of them have resulted in touchbacks this season. So obviously, he's got a strong leg. And the elements are controlled here. It's a high-hanging kick going to the goal line, where it's taken by Cole. He's the track man. He's the learner. He's belted to the ground. 12 interceptions. He doesn't like it, but he thinks he's playing better now than he has been playing. And, of course, you can't talk about Florida State offense without talking about number 28, Warwick Dunn, the native of Baton Rouge. He will go over 4,000 yards tonight almost surely. So from the 13, the Noles go to work as Busby sets up and goes deep. He's got a big one downfield. It is caught by Andre Cooper. First down for the Seminoles. And Pooh Bear Williams looking for the snap signal because it is very noisy. It is Warwick Dunn having a little trouble getting around the corner, and he won't make the corner. This is a good, solid group. Todd Fordham has had an outstanding season. Marcus Long is a good one. Walter Jones can be a great one in time. The defensive front for the Gators, Reggie McGrew is a redshirt freshman who's growing in stature. He's improved steadily through the season, coming off an ankle injury. It is Khalid Abdullah in the backfield right now. The pass is thrown out to him from a slot position, and Abdullah will get it down inside the 25. The Florida linebackers led by James Bates, the leading tackler on the team this season. He's a horse in the middle, and the secondary for the Gators is a very, very good one. There really isn't a weakness in that group. So it is third down and three right now. As they work out of the shotgun, hand the ball inside, and it is Warwick Dunn. Some more of the Bowden trickery here as new people come racing onto the field, and they turn and they give the ball to the big guy, Pooh Bear Williams, the 280-pound fullback. And they've got three wide outs as they go to work out of the shotgun. You didn't see this a whole lot in Tallahassee, but you'll see it a lot tonight. The pass was thrown very quickly to Riddell Anthony. He's had a remarkable career. However, he is 1-3-1 and one against Florida State in his career. The backs and receivers, of course, 18 touchdowns this season for Riddell Anthony. That is an NCAA record game for touchdowns. So he's had a terrific season. Purple again has time, and when you give him time, he'll pick your bones. This is the group right here that has to play a good football game for the Florida Gators. Ryan Kalick is, and uh, Donnie Young are the only constants in that entire offensive front. The previous game, they had five sacks up the middle. They truly miss Jeff Mitchell in there at There's the center no position. There's no question about that. Huge loss when he went down with a bad leg and is out for the year. Seminoles are in the neutral zone. In fact, they're across the line, and Werfel has a free play to Ike Hilliard. And Hilliard with a big play down inside the Florida State 40. Offside on the defense. The penalties refused. That's Mr. Randy Crystal. He's the referee heading a Big 12 officiating crew. The Florida State linebackers, Daryl Bush is the other man Bob mentioned who's been having some health problems. Crawford and Crockett are solid. The defensive uh, secondary for Florida State, the two corners are going to have a busy night. That's a given. You know that. They're really going to have to play tonight against this bunch of wide receivers from Florida. This is the running back, Williams. And Williams will pick up about one yard from the 38-yard line, second down and nine. Pass down the middle, and it is incomplete. It's an ideal uh, situation. Third down and nine. Werfel down, drills the ball into the 15. 
check, checking off. Werfel looking, penalty flag thrown, goes to the end zone, catch is made, let's check the flag. Referee has called touchdown, the linesman coming over to talk to him, let's see what the linesman offers him in Tallahassee. Illegal formation on the offense. Illegal formation. Ball is at the 34-yard line of Florida State, pressure coming, Werfel's pass is away, pass is caught by Hilliard. First down, Gators, no 17-yard line, no score. Werfel's pass thrown to the corner of the end zone. It is way beyond the intended receiver, and you've got a penalty flat. Pass in the turn, on the defense, automatic, first down. From the nine, Werfel, here they come. Into the corner, he's there, it's too long. He's from the nine for the Gators. Into the end zone, Hilliard. No flags. This time, touchdown. Put pressure on Werfel. Florida comes in as the most penalized team in the SEC. Florida misformation and things like that. And the kick is up, and the kick is good by Bart Edmiston, who himself is quite a story, who's back healthy now and able to do the kicking. Nine plays, all from the shotgun. They just didn't get there quick enough. If you don't get to Werfel, you're going to get burned. Fourth down, maybe a field goal getting on the board would have been the right thing to do. That's in the end zone. It'll not be returned. And Gators got them all up there. Florida sent Dead 10 ball. people up. Delay on the offense. It's a five-yard penalty. It remains first down. In this series, Keith, there's been one time. Busby throwing again. Looks like the same play. It is Messam down underneath the ball, and he can't reel it in. It is second down and 15. Busby throws it again. He's got a man coming back into the middle of the field. That's Cooper with his second catch. Of the Third down and six. Busby's pass is good to Messam. Messam curling back inside. Gets him up. And uh, no question about it. Out of the shotgun. Busby rolls. Gets some room. Got a man open. He's good to Green. E.G. Green. So another big play for the Gators, and they put him back on the chalk, back at the 31-yard line, and Busby rolling to the right, goes underneath with it, and the pass is incomplete, and Busby is in the shotgun. Gives him four wideouts. Gets it off. Passes just off the hands of Lavernus Cole. It is third and ten. Let's go the other way with it. And they will not get a first down out of it. The ball is going to be spotted down at the 33. It will be a 43-yard kick. In the season, he's 16 of 18. He's got plenty of leg for this, and it is good. So Bentley pops one through for the Seminoles at 7.49. First quarter, 7-3 Gators. Bentley will kick off for the nose. Hilliard and Williams waiting for it for the Gators. It's a short kick. It's very high, and it's taken by Hilliard at about the 12. Look out. Up, they got him at the 40. I, I, Don't blame him. It I worked pretty either. well the first time. Nose come creeping up on defense. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. It remains first down. Snapped at six seconds on the play clock. The pass is thrown to Jacques Green. And Green is belted and sent uh, Vernon Crawford back in, a linebacker. And the blitz is coming. They hand it off inside to Taylor. And Taylor is close to a first down. That's mine. Hand off to the running back. No. Jump all over Fred Taylor and stop him. We can get more points later on. Fourth and one at the 49. Contact. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Yeah, the quarterback can't pull, pull out. 
and let it go. Bobby Stevenson gets it away, and the ball takes a Gator roll, and it's going to roll, and they're going to kill it down inside the five-yard line. So Florida State sent nobody deep. Huh? Took a shot at it. Warwick Dunn is in the tailback position, but the quarterback, Busby, keeps it. Bobby Bowden doesn't mind throwing the ball out of the end zone. Like that. And that is incomplete. And Busby to Dunn. Dunn can't find in the daylight. This gets it out. Pretty good kick. And he sends it back to the 48 where Green has some room. And he's inside the 30. They stay in the shotgun with Taylor and Mobley back there with Werfel. And the whistle. They've both been very well controlled. False start on the offense. Except the first down. Start. It's the first time he's been under center right here. First and 15. Last time, well, second time, last time he pulled out and got a pillow. Exactly. That ball's thrown underneath everybody to the fullback, Mobley. First down from the 17-yard line now. As Werfel looks and throws, he's got some air under it. Riddell Anthony cannot reach. Second down and 10 with 2.55 to go in the first quarter. Been a long quarter. That's a little pop inside to Anthony. And it goes through his hand. A little bit. He's, he's gonna. He got to keep keep putting pressure on. You got to make him throw it quick. That's what happens right there. You make him throw it quick. This will be a 32-yard field goal try by Bart Edmiston. He recovered from a knee sprain that he suffered in the game in Tallahassee. He missed the SEC championship, but he's back healthy and he just nailed one right down the highway to make it Florida 10 and Florida State 3 at 2:44 to go in the first quarter. The deep people, Stringer and Coles, can't coach speed. That's why they're back there. They can just tear you up if they get a little daylight on you. And Coles are running back from the 25 then. Busby sets them up at 2.38 to play, and here's Dunn. Running in traffic will pick up about three yards. In fact, if you go back further, the last four games against the Gators, he's been outstanding. Comes the pressure. They've got it. Offensive line and defensive line. Third and 19 now. And Busby's got a whole lot of green in front of him, so he pulls it down and takes off and gets a pretty good lick in the exactly. third quarter. Exactly. That's a low snap, and it's almost blocked, but it's a good kick out of there. And it's at the 32-yard line by Jacquez Green. He is a big, wide body. Pressure coming, passes away. Penalty flag is thrown. Jacquez Green makes the catch. Offside on the defense. Take the play. First down, Gators. First down. Right now, tonight, it's Florida out to the lead. 10 to 3. And the handoff to Terry Jackson. Jackson. Is and the first quarter is over. After one, and Nokia Sugar Bowl. It's Florida 10. And Florida State 3. With Elijah Williams behind him, Peter Boulware and Daryl Bush are both out of the defensive lineup for Florida State. Both being struggling with the flu. That ball is thrown and dropped. Terry Jackson is in the lineup now, and there's whistle. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. It remains third down. Defender fell down. I tell you, it has the ball. There's a penalty flag thrown by the man on the sideline. Pass interference on the offense. It'll be a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. On their own 33. Having been down on the 30 and uh, the 46 of uh, Florida State. And Andre Watsworth's first kick with no one back to return it was 55 yards. No pressure. Good kick by Robbie. Warwick waiting, takes it at the 33, dances, finds a little room, and then down he goes at about the 38 yard line. Holding on the receiving team. 
against Florida State. Peter Warwick had a big ball game too in the first game, but uh, he hasn't seen the ball yet tonight. They're all over. But I mean, they didn't give him any chance at all. All the attention goes to the nose, but good defense for the Gators. Second down and 18. Busby having a little trouble. Oh, my goodness. Got Cooper and uh, E.G. Green down here, and this is a reverse with Peter Warwick carrying it, running back in traffic. He breaks free for a moment and picks up a first down. No, he didn't get the first down. Nice high, deep carry, and uh, they don't crowd him. They've got four wideouts now in the Florida alignment with Werfel back there by himself. Here they come. High snap, here they come. He gets it away, he's got hit here, and he's got the ball. And he's out of bounds at the 27 yard line of the penalty flag. Roughing the passer on the defense. Right now, the Gators are knocking on the door again. Same alignment. And Werfel throws it to the corner. And it is incomplete. Nice telling them what to do. When he raises that foot up, he tells the center, OK, you can snap it when you're ready. Pressure, but Werfel throws it back to the other way. And it is out of bounds, short of the goal line to Fred Taylor. So it's first and goal from the two-yard line. Hand off to Taylor. Touchdown. Out of Pensacola. Nails it. Out of Michael Yorkins. Snap. And Robbie Stevenson. Oh. Great big old play and a 15-yard penalty at the end of it. Here's the kickoff by Teague, and he killed it all the way into the end zone. There, oh, he's coming with it from four yards out of the end zone. And paid for it up at the 16-yard line. So Dunn is back there now with Busby out of the shotgun formation. Picks up uh, the rush. Dunn's a good blocker. Ball's thrown to Messam on the sidelines. And well, second down and eight. Dropped by Wayne Messam. He's got one, two, three, four. He's got five possibilities to throw the ball here. He goes down the middle with it and no chance. This is the third. It was 48. He gets this one out of there. He doesn't get it to turn over, so it's a little shorter and possibly a return by Green. Yes. Green dancing around. You better, better corral him pretty quickly. Out of the shotgun. Werfel gives it off to Taylor. And Taylor will move it over to the Florida State. Oh, they got him this time. Got him on the 45-yard line. Peter Bullwear at the 45. He doesn't play like he's sick to me, does he? No. <laughs> Here they come. Werfel whistles it away in a hurry. Stir is waiting to return it. He's a tailback. Stevenson hits it well. Back to the 13. Feaster comes up the middle. Good return. First down, 37. And they snap it short to Warwick Dunn. And the first play of the night in which he has accomplished something. I have second down and two. This is awful. This is Cooper Williams. <laughs> Eight and a half minutes to go in the first half. The dive ahead for the first down. Follow voted the national championship. You would expect that. But it doesn't always happen. Pressure coming. Busby gets it away. The pass is almost intercepted here in the second quarter. That ball is batted right back at him by Dimitri Jackson. He's got a man messing down the middle. The pass is complete inside the 30 to the 29. First down, Seminole. And the Seminoles now with that first down. 
get one here that sure would make the trip to the clubhouse easier. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, E.G. Green. The Florida defenders ran together and fell down, and it was a gift for Green and the Seminoles. The kick by Bentley is good. And it's 17 to 10 with 7.28 to play in the first half. And Bobby feels a whole lot better. Right here for the Seminoles and their faithful. And here's the kickoff, a low line drive that goes through the end zone. It'll come back to the 20. First down for the Gators. The doctors tell me he is out for the rest of this ball game. Not the way he wanted to end his last ball game as a Gator, Keith. Yeah, that's Went right there and through that. So the Seminoles now having Heisman Trophy winners don't always win in the Sugar Bowl. Many of them have had a hard time here. This is for Riddell Anthony. Five to run a wide receiver screen. Crawford are gone. And we got folks bouncing around. Good ball. Full start on the offense. <laughs> Third down now and 11. Purple gets it away. Penalty flag is off from the lineman of this. Dead ball. Holding. Ball started stuck. And it's fought stuck. Look out here. Oh, he got loose. And Werfel goes down hard. The ball is caught by Jackhead Green. Danny Werfel was just ripped. <laughs> but Steve, I, I don't know. He's probably jumping up and down about it. Werfel lets it go again, right on the numbers. I can you get to lose. It's a touchdown for the Gators. Oh, boy. You beat on him. You beat on him like an old church bell, and suddenly he stuck it in the end zone. Mark boots it through. And the Gators respond to the Seminole with a touchdown to make it a 24 to 10 ball game. When you do it that way. High, high kick by Teague. Four yard line for Coach. See if the Seminoles can do something. Low snap, Busby handles it, people after him, throws the ball, drops. Incomplete for your line, middle linebacker like that. You've got to see bolts of lightning every once in a while. Busby step tries to get away from the pressure, but he can't do it. And then uh, they snap it to Dunn. And Warwick Dunn cannot get loose. He ran down there to get that offense fired up. Oh, that's a good kick by Sean Liss. But look at Green. He's taken down. Nobody in the backfield except the quarterback. Trips at the bottom of the picture. Werfel. Being harassed and harangued one more time by Mr. Bullware. Bullware. Second down. Call it 11. Passes away and batted down. Third down, 11. That's down the middle, down to the 40-yard line, and a penalty flag is thrown. An eligible receiver down field. A five-yard penalty. Steve wants to know. Down. Steve wants to know who it was. Third down now, and 16 for the Gators. A 24 to 10 ball game, and it's in the air, and it is incomplete. Something out of their special teams. Whoa, Stevenson got most of that one. 16-yard line for Feaster. He's got some room. That one man, number 16, got outside and grabbed him. Under center, Busby having a little trouble. Somebody after him all the time. Pass completed to E.G. Green. Green is taken down. Go back to the shotgun. Busby going big. And 
Cooper can't get to the ball and a penalty flag for the game. Pass interference yep. on the defense. 15-yard penalty from the pre previous spot. Interfere with him. 28-yard line, first down for the Noles. Ball is handed off to Warwick Dunn. Tucked it back. Runs into trouble at the 25. And now at a minute 10, Busby back to throw it. And throws high and incomplete. Defenses have a great shot. To the sideline. He gets past the marker. He gets a first down. Does not, however, get out of bounds. Busby gives to Dunn. He's got some room. He's got a block from Green. He's got a touchdown. Finally, Dunn finds a way. considerably for the Seminole. This is a short kick that's finally controlled by Elijah Williams and Williams comes back up to about the 33. They know that they need to stop Warwick Dunn. Hand the ball off goes to Terry Jackson and he gets outside and he's got some room and he's a big fella and he runs all the way down to the 41 yard line. intended down the sidelines for Riddell. Uh, Anthony has two catches for 13 yards. That's all. He's caught 22 in the last two games. Pressure coming. Bowler. He's got a hold of him. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Vernon Crawford. Going to somebody that can run. Warfel is decked hard by Wilson. But finally they get Crawford down around the uh, 38 yard line and time runs out. 24, Florida State 17. And we'll be back with John Saunders and Todd Blackledge after this message and the word from our ABC station. Keith Jackson, Bob Greasy, then Swan, and here we go with a second half. Two yards deep in the end zone, Anthony. Across the 30, 21. It's closer there. Elijah Williams in the backfield. He's got the ball. Tries a sweep. And he's colored. Tough place to check off at the line of scrimmage. It's quite noisy. Ball is handed away to Taylor. Taylor's up near the 35 for about a yard. Bush steps right up onto the line of scrimmage. And they loop and get Danny Werfel, and there's a penalty flag. Holding Holy. Florida. On the offense. He's standing back on the 35. He's got to back up for that one for the 25. And comes back to the 42. He's a junior from Jacksonville. Busby back, pretty good protection, passes away to the sideline, passes good to Dunn. Warwick Dunn will move it down to about the 45. Going back to the eye. Back to Dunn. He's right at the line of scrimmage. A little sprain maybe of the ankle. The pass is thrown hard and a little bit behind. And here's the penalty call. First down. Ball at the gate of 35. Busby back. Gets it off. Got air under it. Mess him down. In the corner. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Guns in motion. And he got flags and whistles. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty and it remains second down. Checking off. Gators are coming. Give it a pull there. And he runs it inside the 35. Just to keep him happy. On third down, Busby throws it. And it is caught. 
but it is not a first down. It'll be a 45-yard try by Scott Bentley. He's one for one tonight. He hit from 43 yards. This one is on its way. Plenty of leg. And it's good. And so the Seminoles make it a 24-20 ball game. But the thing I like about both of them is they got quit. Boy, they won't quit. They keep clawing and scratching. That's a yard deep in the end zone by Hilliard. Pretty good lick laid on Mr. Hilliard up at the 22-yard line. And Danny starts out of the shotgun. And here comes Messrs. Boulwer and Wilson, and they flush him. Now he throws, and it is just over the head of Ike Hilliard. Look out for the blitz here. Look at Smith creeping up. Now he drops off. He passes away and thrown over the head. Great award. Assistant coaches have been overlooked too long. Yep. Werfel back. Passes away. It is caught by Redell Anthony, but he is short. Having a good night. Oh, that's maybe his best one. Oh, it runs. All the way back inside the five, rolling dead. Look at this. Oh, holy smoke. Great kick. The Gators have six defensive touchdowns on the year. Look out. Oh, it's going away. I mean. Busby gets it away, throwing it deep down the sidelines, and it is incomplete. Almost <laughs> intercepted by Anton Lott. <laughs> <laughs> Those defensive backs don't get a chance to get many of them. Well, they try to run it with Feaster. Didn't get all of it, but it's a tail dragger. If they let it hit the ground, it'll take off. Jacques Green fields it at midfield. And look out! Inside the 25. He's got the ball. He's inside the 10, and a penalty flag. Dead ball, personal foul on the defense. It'll be a half the distance penalty with an automatic first down. They're going to snap the ball from about the four-yard line, and Werfel goes up under center. Give it to Taylor. He'll move it down to about the two. Second down and goal from the two. This time he is hit behind the line of scrimmage by number 30, Chevin Smith. Changing the play. Too much time. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Remains third down after a five yard That's that third and goal from the eight yard line. Back to the shotgun, Werfel's pass, a little quick pop thrown in there, and it is touchdown to Ike Hilliard. That is his third of the night. Good. Goes back to an 11-point lead for the Florida Gators. He's got a tremendous touch on the football. Forget about mobility. Forget about arm strength. He makes good decisions, and he's got a great touch. Five-yard line, Peter Warwick. Another of Bobby's son named the head coach recently at Tulane University here in New Orleans. From the 23-yard line, Busby pulls it down and takes off. And does a hook slide. You don't need anybody to touch it. Boy, there's nothing there. They were coming. Uh, third down now and four from the 29. Busby's passed down the middle of the field into double coverage for E.G. Green, and it is incomplete. Seventh punt of the night for Sean Bliss. 
good one. It runs Green back to the 22. And then he is tackled at the 27 by Jermaine Stringer. Face mask, five yard penalty on the kicking team. It'll be a first down. That's a pocket full of flags, I want to tell you. And out of the shotgun, hand the ball to Terry Jackson. And gimmicks, what are we doing? Go to Jackson for the first down. It was second and a half a yard, and he picked up a couple. The Gator offensive line, though, has been the big difference I've seen in the ballgame. This is Jackson and a penalty flag. Illegal formation on the offense. He's a good one. He Third, really missed him. Third team All-American. Yep. On first down from the 39-yard line. Jackson again. He's running with abandon. Jackson again. He's going to have the first down at the Florida State 45-yard line. Position and took that in to score, so it was the special teams that turned Florida around here in the second half. Wolfo gets the ball away. It's in. Dropped. Two men had a chance for Florida State. The defense in the first game made a lot of plays. Look out. Anthony is open. He's got some room. And they finally take him down at about the 16-yard line. All right, Keith. All right, thank you. John is an Air Force captain. There to cool down. Ball start on the offense. It remains first down. Wolf. Jacques Green caught it. Second down 11 from the 17. Handed off to Taylor. We got Anthony and Hilliard both down toward the bottom of the picture. Hilliard down the middle. Werfel takes off the other way, running for the corner, and he's in there. I think. seconds to play in the third quarter. Short. At the four. Meester. Right around the 24-yard line. Through much of the game. Pressure coming. Busby is nailed to the turf. Gets the pass away to Peter Warwick from 31. Nope. No chance. 38-20 Florida leads. We'll be back with the final quarter of the Nokia Sugar Bowl after this message and the word from our ABC station. Number three in the nation, leading number one Florida State by a score of 38-20 as Busby drops back and lets it go down the sidelines for Wayne Messam and he's out of bounds. It is incomplete. Florida has never won a national championship. This is a killer punt. I mean, it is enormous. It runs Jacques Green all the way back to the 13-yard line. He escapes. And finally, he is run out of bounds. From the 13. It is Elijah Williams. Down hard. In order to get decent field position. Wilson flushes him. Wilson's after him. Wilson got him. Bowler is on top of it. They run it. There's nothing there. So the Seminole defense does its job. He gets it out. He didn't kill it, but it's uh, caught by Peter Warwick. He splits the pursuers and comes back across the 35. Over the years has not been a particular advantage. Best field position of the game for Florida State. Going deep for the corner, and it is short. And Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. 
This one down just beyond the 45, so this this will go in the books as 55 yards. And no good. Short by a little bit, and he worked back on the field. Goes under center. That was critical, Keith. Florida State had great field position and came away with no points. Gary Jackson, the big back, is it to Mickey Andrews and to uh, Bobby Bowden. I don't even think it influenced the outcome of this ball game at all. That pass is completed for a first down to Mike Hittier. It is much more conducive to their brand of ball. Nine Seminoles up on that line of scrimmage. Not going to do much running with that many people up there. 70 plus degrees. You put 80,000 people in here, it's probably 80, eight close to 80 degrees. And then selling out on most of the plays tonight. They were the run. It's Jackson. He's gone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Forty-two yards. Leading 45 to 20, kick it off. It's goals from the one. And out of bounds up around the 22. Except Nebraska, they had a loss. Then Nebraska got beat. Incomplete pass. Mm -hmm. Well, I think their long tenure is number one, which lasted 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. Certainly something of an influence there. I think the Gators claim for number one might be Ohio State. And I don't think they will get a vote. Not vote. Do that. That's Melvin Pearsall who finally sees the ball. Here's a look uh, giving Florida the win and Florida State the loss. Yep. Five teams with one loss. Pearsall had that one on his fingers. I think they got the right team on top. I think I think you got to give it to Florida. I wouldn't disagree with it. Just hit as he threw. And California. Seven and a half minutes to play in the game, and Busby throws down the middle and is picked off. Picked off, yeah. It's Tico Brown. And Tico but he back to a pass to the 49. I don't understand that. I don't either. I don't understand why the boot is back. He gave the ball interception, but that's Fred Taylor. Wow. Oh, it's an inadvertent whistle call. Uh, Last Heisman Trophy winner to win a national championship. <laughs> Danny Werfel. <Wilson. laughs> yeah, no. We have two dead ball fouls, personal fouls against the defense. It'll be a cumulative total of 30 yards. Oh, my goodness. And uh, Florida State just absorbed two 15-yard penalties for a total of 30. And it's first down for the Gators at the Florida State 42-yard line. And everybody's going to talk about it. Is this one? Uh, Outside goes Taylor. It's a first down. Running the ball. And that's going to be another first down. For in Nebraska. Had to sting and hurt for quite a long time. Another personal foul. Put in the Big Ten next year. And uh, I think these two teams right these here. These two teams. One pass reception for 12 yards. Wanted to come out and be with his teammates. This is Taylor. Taylor. Stuff for Warwick Dunn, uh, the great. Perry Jackson. Boom. Close, but not in. Oh, 
Jackson. There it is. This is convincing. After the point, 52-20. Statement to say, hey, let's beat this team and beat them good so we can get some more votes. Well, they've got a 52-20 lead with 2-12 to play. Staked its claim for national championship, leading 52-20. The kickoff by Teague. Matt getting tired. He's worked so hard tonight. That's a high pop-up. It's fielded at about the 12 by Feaster, and he's still pounding with it. Comes out to about the 35-yard line. Came out of Pennsylvania. Daddy played for Bobby Bowden at West Virginia. His first pass, he's hit as he throws. It is intercepted. And a penalty flag on the play. Place pass. Five yards down to Florida State. First down, ten. Top of that, young Kendra getting a chance to play in the Sugar Bowl game, even though the cause is lost. And uh, bolting through is 96 Connell Spain. Come back at him. <laughs> you know, Stephen Oakcourt. And it's uh, it's mop-up time. Eugene McCaslin is the tailback. The young Seminoles out there for the first time, a little short-tempered, and uh, he has. This is Noah Brindisi or Brindice in that quarterback right now. There's a lot of pushing and shoving and whacking and cracking as here right now. But a lot of people think this may be the quarterback right here next it's year. Easier than. Okay. And that's going to do it. The ball game is over. The Florida Gators have staked their claim for the national championship of the 1996 season.